Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Hi. Welcome back, guys. So we did this Patreon exclusive. I believe that was yesterday. Yes, I, I think it was yesterday, my two too yeah <laughs> it was all the days kind of blurred yeah. together uh again you, you know some of these deep dives we can only go th go into the information over there on patreon but we can absolutely cover this over here uh on the main channels when you look to what's going on and what has gone on we still don't have the full picture i don't believe i don't think most people really have in their minds uh, just how dire the situation is up in Asheville and some of these areas. Asheville, North Carolina residents being uh, getting used to life without fresh water. They're being told between three to six months before the city can restore the fresh water supply. This is not good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, listen to this. Where are we, who are you, and what is the big problem in Asheville with the water? We are currently in Hendersonville, North Carolina, um, not far out of Asheville. Um, the problem in Asheville with the water is that it is, um, it's, it's polluted. Um, the water system up there is very polluted with anything from fuel to um, debris and things like that. We're trying to get water to these people. It's becoming a big issue. So I understand the city uh, has is looking at delays of about, I don't know, three to six months at this point? It's, it's seeming like it's going to be very far out. That's correct. What are they doing to rectify the problem for the residents of Asheville, the taxpayers? So I can't speak much as far as what the city themselves are doing. I haven't had any contact with them directly. Um, but we have local people in the community, one of which is uh, Ferguson's Well Drilling. Um, they're right outside of Asheville in Leicester, North Carolina. Um, they have been currently opened their office up where they have a large quantity of water um, around 200 gallons per minute coming out of their well. They're actually offering that free um, to the community where they have people backed up all day long. They're coming through there filling up their trucks, they're filling up their water bottles, they're filling up tractor trailers, um, and they want to be able to push these wells out and be able to drill more wells where they can serve the community all over, not just in Leicester. These people are hauling this water from Leicester all the way towards Swannanoa, Black Mountain. How um, far is that? They're hauling it 45 minutes to an hour in some of these places. So you've got uh, Ferguson well drilling that will drill wells. Do you have places that you can drill these wells? And if so, where? Yes, they are reaching out all over Asheville um, and surrounding areas. They're, they're open to go anywhere they, they need to to drill wells to start getting these people water um, soon. They can get this water, drill these wells as soon as a day. What does it cost to drill a well? It depends a lot on um, what they hit underground, uh, what kind of rock they're hitting. Um, anywhere from maybe twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars per well um, which is going to be costly up front but one well can serve so many people as they've shown at their business there in less that's a lot of money uh, a, a lot of money at a time when so many people have lost everything everything when you when we see this disaster it's huge this is perspective um from a nurse allowed myself time to think which is a good thing. Um, this is a beautiful place and so much of it has been ruined and there's still so many people living without power or water. Um, people running out of medications, especially insulin, um, EpiPens, oxygen is a huge deal. Uh, they can't have oxygen concentrators running without electricity. Um, we have whole veterans' homes, nursing homes, uh, with no electricity to cook, um, no lights to see to do personal care, um, no supplies coming in for adult briefs, um, purified water for the infants and babies that I've been focusing on. Um, people are using their their disgusting water with sewage in it out of desperation to make baby bottles and that's just going to cause so much sickness down the road a month from now. There's going to just be so much. It's, it's a real bad, bad situation ongoing up in the mountains there. 
this this made me really angry and i don't get angry too often i i mean the the whole i try to keep myself in check because you do have to watch your own health you have to watch um how your intake intake of information is affecting your health and when i saw this i was just so upset because to me it's so blatant as far as what they are doing and how they are doing a slow kill and those that are able-bodied are going to end up burying those that are sick and dying and that's what i mean when i heard when i say in the bible where it says let the dead bury the dead you know they're just going to let these people get sick they're going to be burying each other so that the you know the the rich they don't have to come down and get their hands dirty they're they're letting everyone else do it and it's just so horrible and i know that sounds horrible but this is what we're looking at if people cannot see why why we need to prepare then we can't help them anymore i mean i'm just really so upset this is awful with with this you know she's watching babies are probably going to slowly die because they can't be clean i remember when we were in the in the camper i mean we had we had we used the water spigot out back and I, at least I had that water, but still, that was so hard to keep the dishes clean, to keep things clean. And I was getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and I only had cold water. These people have sewage water with their babies, and they're sick, and the elderly, and all the medications that they're running out of. I mean, this is just really in your face, and this is why we've been doing the videos for so long. So shame on anybody who has ever said that we are fear mongers. Shame on you, because if we can't see what this is, and we can't help people anymore, people really need to do something. I mean, this is awful. We can't continue to let this happen. I mean, it, we are allowing it by feeding all of these rich people everything they want, you know, with our money. We really need to be more careful where we spend our money, because this, our money is our energy, is what keeps them going. So, pull the ranks in have people work amongst e each other if if there's going to be money spent you know work with your neighbor maybe your neighbor has something you know to offer and you can buy from your neighbor but keep it within the circles you know let's try to stop giving our money to these horrible entities that really don't give a damn whether we live or die and i don't know if we can still do this video <laughs> No, it is what it is. Um, you know, again, when you think you're doing something, maybe you leave a dollar for the Red Cross. But interesting that the Red Cross, again, has ties to uh, certain families, names, translation. You know, Red Shield, Red Cross, these are the same entities when you look at it. Um, there's, there's this massive campaign underway. There's no billionaires. There's no zero no billionaires you're just deluding yourself if you think there's any billionaires that are not part of the problem they are you know you're just deluding yourself you're not facing reality they don't get to be a billionaire by bucking the system it doesn't work that way this is somebody talking about testing the rainwater i understand that this is a federal issue i understand that from speaking to the governor's office that they cannot or will not even make a statement about this. Uh, my question is, have you tested the rainwater? And if you haven't, have you seen the results of our rainwater tests? And also, are you aware that many of the people sitting in this room right here have very high levels of barium, aluminum, and strontium in their blood? People are getting sick and dying. And we want the ADEQ not just to give us a little speech today, but actually to maybe perhaps speak out against it if you know it's going on and if not i would suggest you do a lot more investigation we've been doing it for years so i'd like a comment on one the rainwater what's in it and two what's in our blood and if it's not coming from geoengineering is it your responsibility to investigate that and tell us where it is coming from thank you you know again there's really truly nothing federal about the federal government it, it doesn't work for the people when you see what's going on in Gaza, and this is why they, they use religion as a tool. They destroy everything. They, again, keep us divided purposely and just get us to, to wipe each other out. 
while they sit back and you know again they live their very very dark lives which are being very very exposed at this time and again that's what we're talking about here all of these people entertainers you know <laughs> they're all part of the system it, it's it's a system run by the few controlling the masses and living off the misery that it creates you know, anybody that thinks that Kundalini Yoga or any yoga is satanic, Qigong, which means energy work, is satanic. Anybody that thinks meditation is satanic, you really need your, bra your brain examined. You're not thinking clearly. Uh, you're not functioning correctly. But it's understandable because your water's been poisoned. You know, every the groundwater's been poisoned. The rain is poisoned everything the food is poison the air is poison and you know oh those are new age things new age no they're the old age the golden age the silver age they're not the dark age why do you want to stay in the darkness why do you want to you know again there's a little sign that you'll see up in in some people's houses saying uh, our family we church we choose to serve the lord and what they're saying is we choose to serve the satanic masters they just don't understand what they're saying by by staying ignorant to what's really going on then it, it's perpetuating the atrocities look deeper look much much deeper this, you know, obviously uh, is a turning point. We are really at a turning point right now as we speak. Uh, there are other extraterrestrials out there from many different places gathered up on what they call a second moon. It, it's not a moon. It's a ship. It didn't come in and dock for six to eight weeks and, you know, going to go leave as a piece of rock. That's a ship. But they know most people are too ignorant too dense can't comprehend what they're even watching and many of them will act out in a violent manner when they get frustrated because they're not thinking clearly so you know again the system knows this the system understands this and they are counting on human ignorance you know it's this thing i think it's called dark psychology where they know and they can anticipate how we're going to react to certain things and by using that dark psychology they <coughs> basically have humans in the palm of their hand they can just do things if we allow it so that's why we need to really do our best to take responsibility for ourselves and what we are doing and prepare 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 for anything because they're you know i think every it's just uh if you move around it, it might be like switching seats on the titanic I, I think any place could get targeted and we all need to be ready and not dependent on these these people you know they they really do not care about us they absolutely do not all we are is a food source so they're gonna manipulate and do what they need when they need to at their convenience and it, it's no sweat off their back. Really, it's not to send through a hurricane and, and wipe out a bunch of people and make sure that they're, you know, slowly dying and in a lot of pain uh, for their benefit. That's what they're doing. Absolutely. And we know that our core understands this. It's, again, it has to spread out farther. So we need to not be afraid to speak up. And at the same time, also realize what human potential is. It's so much more than what they give us in this world. It's it's not about acquiring bigger and nicer houses or cars. It's it's not about you know how many subscribers you have and you know ego and fluff and all that. That that's all what the world is is using to get you to buy into a dark dark truly. Uh, satanic demonic paradigm no we need to understand that we're all part of one organism and that's that's part of that shift in consciousness to understanding that no it's not really supposed to be survival of the fittest it's about cooperation and pulling each other up and truly working to better ourselves and better the planet and living more harmoniously with the planet which we you know the system has no no concept of that 
as somebody else had said, oh, they ruined Mars, and then, yes, this is what they're doing here to Earth. Exactly. You know, and, and also Nibiru before that. So, you know, this is, this is really the essence of the dark egoic system because it feeds off of ego. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people pointing out to those who are trying to shine a light on it. They're telling them how bad and horrible they are. Well, you know, I think if people really knew the truth when they're ready to accept the truth, then we can do something about it. I do think the tide is turning, but this is what we need to watch out for. This is what we need to prepare for. This, this is, is an example of how much they absolutely do not care about you. And I never, ever, ever advocate violence. Never. But I do advocate self-responsibility and being prepared. Yeah, and I mean, what is more ignorant than violence that's committed by, violence, by, right? by people that are being manipulated uh, against innocent, other innocent people? So innocent people just ignorant people committing violence against other ignorant innocent people is exactly what they do this is what they do so again as long as we have the same power structures on the planet we'll never ever have peace on the planet we have to make them irrelevant we have to band together work together create new systems you know again they're going to give you they're going to throw you a bone so to speak but it'll be a toxic bone you can't build a house with old wood. Absolutely. As always, thank you for your support. Source bless, and we look forward to your comments. Namaste. Namaste.